welcome to Mallorca. Well, I guess it's not really morning anymore, is it? I think it's like 2 p.m. We landed this morning and look at my view. I am so happy to be here. If you didn't know this, Mallorca is one of my favorite places literally in the world. I don't know what it is about it here. I just love it. So we've come on a little girly holiday. I'm sure you can guess who I'm here with. You've probably seen her already, actually. I'm here with them. And yeah, we're just gonna have three nights of chill, eating loads of bread and aioli and just enjoying summer because mm, England not really feeling like summer right now. So we're staying at Zell, which is part of the Amelia group and I can't get over this room. Let me give you a little tour. So this is the outdoor patio area. And then walking in, we have an M. We have an M. <laughs> this is the room, it's lovely. And there's actually so much space for the two of us. We actually have our own little wardrobe sections, which is wonderful. And then this is the bathroom area. And yeah, it's just exactly what we needed. It's always nice just to have that little bit of space for you both to exist in one space. But yes, this is gorgeous. I haven't actually had much of a chance to explore. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Also, look at this. They had a bigger version of this downstairs. Oh, that's cool. Gorgeous. I love the vibe and we have the Nespresso. So our flight this morning was a little bit intense. There was a bit of turbulence and I'm not joking when I say the whole cabin screamed. I am not a nervous flyer so I was like fine but I think it's quite scary hearing everyone around you just freak out. It was very strange. But anyway, we got here fine in the end and literally have just arrived, gotten changed. And I think we're going to head downstairs to yeah. get some lunch. We're starving, aren't we? We're back. I was we saying about the flight. <gasps> Oh my goodness. We guys. sat separately and I knew she'd be guys. beside herself and I felt terrible. I'm, I'm settling this up because I was just telling my wife about the flight. <laughs> Little did I know she'd paid for the Wi Fi to text flight. me and I hadn't because I was like, you know, I was asleep. But it was I, it was intense. I paid it? for the Wi Fi because I was like, in case we die, genuinely, I need to text my mum, my boyfriend, and Emily to say I love you. <laughs> it was a lot. So we dropped one. So more but the reason. Everyone to go. freaked out. No, people were crying. Everyone yeah. was sobbing. This is not be me being over dramatic. People were literally sobbing. There were I people felt bad in the for aisle. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So more the reason to go and eat all of the bread, all of the aioli Aoli. or alioli, yes. and just have the yes. best time. So aioli. The brand is Alioli. Is that correct? The yellow tub is called Alioli, but the actual substance inside is Aioli. The substance. Is that right? So they have a Besso Beach Beach Club in this hotel, which is the same one that they have in. Have you been to the one in Formentera? Um, I actually. Uh, I went somewhere in Pimentara and honestly I don't know the name of it, so maybe. Probably. On the beach? I feel like, yeah, I've been on the beach, but it was all white. Everything was white. Like, the restaurant was fully white. I don't remember. I've been, but it was years and years ago. But they have one in Marbella and Ibiza? Thing. Basically, it's a really great beach club, and it's part of the hotel here, which means we get to eat the food for lunch. Oh, right, okay, I'm, I'm Sorry. fannying now, let's go. Oh my god, we have this gorgeous table. Oh, she's creaming up. Gotta do it. And we're literally right next to the beach. I love it on the beach, right? I know, she was like, do you want to be at the front or at the back? We were like, we've just come from England, yeah, we, we want to be front row seat. Lunch time, so we've got a burrata and some bread and aioli to start. Oh, and some olives, I think. Our mains are here, so we've got some squid, we've got some shrimp, and then we've got some scallops. We're seafood girlies. So I've just got back to the room after lunch, grabbed a little coffee on the way up. There's a coffee bar in the lobby, and how nice was the guy? Oh my we need to ask his name. We made a new friend. The barista. He even, wait for this, never in my life, and I've eaten a lot of cookies. He got it in half Cut it in half. It looks like a really we good We need to try it. Off. He said it's chocolate sea salt. So. Uh, Do you have a half preference? I don't mind. Actually. You don't mind. I'll take the chunkier one that's a bit <laughs> like shorter because I like a chunky cookie. And I like a crispy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, is it very flowery? It's quite flaky, yeah. Oh. Mm. Is that sweating the crumbs? Okay, three. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mmm. I'm back in exactly the same place that I spoke to you earlier, but we did a little gym session and I've just got ready for dinner. Let me set you down so I can show you my outfit. I also want to show you the view because it's absolutely beautiful. So, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I mean, let's hope I don't show you up the dress. I love it. I got it at Farfetch maybe like a month ago and I've just been saving it. And then I've got my new and other story sandals on and then my Pullen bag, which actually matches the sandals perfectly. So it's quite a nice black brown combo not very spanish but i don't have a tan yet so i'm like tonight's the night that i'll do this one and then when i have a bit of a tan i think the rest of my outfits are white no they're both white 
so you know we'll break it up i'm going to be completely real with you the sandal heels are no longer on i don't even know if you can see i've got my espadrilles on because we're going for a nice evening walk and i'm just not doing it i don't need to wear them em's just drying her hair and then we're literally going to leave but i do want to say if you enjoy vlogs like this it's going to be a super fun chill chatty one then please do me a favor give it a like if you're new here you've just joined hit that subscribe button my name's emily this is one of my best friends em and we love to do these little trips together where we go and discover places i mean we've both been to new york a few times before so this is a bit of not really that but you know girls holiday making memories we are just going to sit and giggle for the next three nights and yeah share it with you so yeah if you're watching right now and listening to me, it would mean the world if you would give this a like. And I'm also moving very soon, so if moving vlogs are your thing, the subscribe button is where you need to be. So this is how it looks with the espadrilles, what do you think? She looks um, amazing. I, you know what, I feel really good in this dress. She looks literally like a supermodel. <laughs> and if you're looking for one of those dresses that you just need as like a cute little black dress that makes you feel really good, but that's a bit more elevated, would 100% recommend this. It's quite low V, but I feel completely, you know, secure, but I ha don't have much of a chest. I'm buying so. it. Are you gonna? Yeah. I think exciting. they do it in different colours as well. I would so buy this in white and red and pink. So yes, I feel very, very good in this. And now I've got flat shoes on. We're gonna go for a hot girl evening walk. We're both still very full from lunch. We had lunch at like 5 p.m. Honestly, it was a it was, it a was dinner. dinner. It was dinner. So we're gonna go for a walk and then hopefully find a supermarket and get some snacks and oh. sit and eat crisps on the beach. <laughs> so sorry. Don't expect a really nice dinner tonight. So I wanna try and get some flash photos tonight and I've seen that everyone's using their G7X to get like flash photos at night. So we're gonna try it, which means we're vlogging on this tonight, which I haven't done in so long, but it also means you're gonna see way more because it's tiny. And whenever I vlog on this on my V10, I just whip it out all the time, so. Let's go. Guys, look at the sky. Oh my goodness, this is magical. So we've come into the grocery store. I have to show you. How great does that look? Oh. I've had these before, they're really good. But I've never seen half so these. good. Have you not? Look at these, oh my gosh. Heck, yes. Like mini Ooh. Oh, mini milkers. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have to get some stuff. And all the chalk. I'm definitely going to get Sophie something. I think I will get her caramel milker. This is also a very big one, so I feel like that's a great gift. Yum, yum, yum. Maybe I just get a ton for my chocolate drawer in my house just whilst I'm here. The best crisps in the whole entire world. If you know, you know. Oh, these were also a key part of my childhood holidays and the ones that had chocolate on, but I actually prefer the plain ones. Anyone else? Please tell me in the comments if this is a thing for you too. Were these a thing for you growing up? Um, I've never seen those in my life. I'm not gonna lie, they give me the ick that it's just like in one plastic thing. Oh no, honestly, these were part of my childhood. We've just come across this shop and look at these hats. I love it. We should get matching hats yeah, or matching bags. Matching hats and bags. Or yeah. one or the other, my goodness. Absolutely cool. We won't be able to fit it in the case home. I like the pink one actually. They are quite fun. I, really I like the baby one. We've had a lovely little wonder. We've just got back to the hotel and I think yeah, we're going to wonder. sit and have some snacks. Yes, next We did buy Chris. We did buy. But now we fancy fancy fish. Not we had enough fish earlier. No, we love seafood. For dinner we've got a tomato salad, we've got some tuna, and we've got some crisps. Yum. <laughs> of course. I Why ordered, not? I ordered potatoes. You said no potatoes, but we have chips, and I forget that when people say chips, they actually crisps. We could do some guac, really. Crisps. Oh, this is a big yes for me. Oh my god. It looks insane. Mm. A nice little vlogging shelf. You're in the cupboard if you uh, couldn't tell. But dinner was lovely. We basically had tuna and tuna. Any tuna we could find on the uh, menu because that's what we fancied. And what else did we have? Some crisps. Some crisps. Oh, the chocolate cake. I mean, you just saw, it was really good, but tomorrow we're gonna go for Froyo. Yeah. We walked past about, like, what, four pro Froyo places? Four Froyo things, and we went through and we ranked them, and we have found the daddy of Froyos. We went for the one that had the most elite toppings, and we bookmarked it, and we're gonna go back tomorrow. They have a Milky Way dip on their Froyo. I've good. never heard of that in my whole entire life. I might just yeah. order a tub of that. You know what, I actually might get that. Normally I'd be a Biscoff girly, but Are I we might. gonna share, or are we gonna buy No! Ooh, we're gonna get two. 
Yeah, but completely topic. different topics. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. And then we'll share. Yeah, but Emily was looking at the top and she's like, I know exactly what you're going to get because you saw the Kit Kat balls. Well, you like little chocolate balls. Oh, I love chocolate. Because what Em does is she gets the toppings and then she'll get extra toppings or like they'll oh, come yeah. in a pot and then she'll just eat the rest of the toppings. My favourite thing all the is when we went to eat gelato in Covent Garden and they were basically like, um, oh, if you bring some Froyo back, you get more toppings. So I had the tiniest, like, not even a spoon for the Froyo back. Half a spoon. Half a spoon. I was like, I've got some Froyo back because all they wanted was the toppings. The toppings. She just paid for the toppings. And they were like, that's not how it works. And she was like, oh, I didn't realise. Oh, I'll have to buy some <laughs> yeah. more Froyo. And so they go from to her, which is actually really lovely. But yeah, we've, we've done a good scope of everything tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's been lovely just to walk up and down. It's so reminiscent of, like, childhood. Mm -hmm. But you guys, we're going to head off to sleep and we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night. Sorry, that was really cringy. I'm not gonna do that. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up and walked outside. And look at this. Um, what the heck? It's literally 7.24 or something in the morning. And I think the sunrises here are going to be ridiculous. So I'm definitely gonna get up a little bit earlier tomorrow and make it, but what the heck? How dreamy. Everything's starting to come away. And this is my view. How crazy was that sunrise? I'm absolutely going to be getting up to see that tomorrow. But I've had to sit in the shade to talk to you because it is so bright. I don't know if you can see. It's going to be a glorious day. I have just gotten ready. I gymmed and now we're going to head down and get some breakfast. Apparently the breakfast is really, really good. So I'm very excited to go and raid the buffet. You know me, breakfast is my absolute favourite meal of the day. But yeah, I'm just excited to get in the sun and yeah, feeling very fulfilled right this second. I'm also wearing the cutest little love shack dress. I've been waiting to wear this for so long. You see it's got like cutouts at the side and I've just never had the perfect trip and now it's like the first outing, which is always quite a nice feeling, isn't it? And we have the pastry table, we've got some Danish chocolate down there. And the I did a couple of fried eggs, some watermelon. They had so much fresh fruit, strawberry, passion fruit, and then I got a little yogurt bowl uh, with some walnuts, which actually I love walnuts, but I can't eat too many of them because I think I'm like semi allergic. I don't know, they make my mouth feel very strange if I eat too many. It's very yummy. Rachel breakfast out of 10. Honestly, I had Nutella and strawberries, and they were the freshest strawberries, and I just kept dunking them in Nutella, and I even went and got a second round of Nutella. <laughs> I would say the only thing that is lacking for me is, not that we're here to actually review the breakfast, but- Oh no, I'm always here to fun. review the fun. I would say I need a bit more like meaty, like some like bacon or chicken or fish, that's the only avocado. thing Avocado, I don't see any avocado. Yeah, but the there's like fresh honey, here, such good eggs. I'm excited. And I know tomorrow I'm gonna have some completely different guys it's hot we went for a walk and then we've come back to the hotel and we've just been chilling on our little kind of terrace balcony area and it's like 30 degrees i mean it's like what how what time is it i'm like half 12 oh my gosh it's 1 30 and it's stifling so i think we're gonna head down to the beach and go for a little swim in the sea we're so like literally it's across down across the pool and we're like at the beach so we're gonna go and do that i've got my little triangle bikini on and i'm feeling great i'm just very warm and very ready to go and jump in the I decided it was less risky to risk the phone than to risk the camera, but now the phone's in the sea, I'm thinking maybe it wasn't the best idea. I could literally float her for hours. Guys, that was so much fun. I, every time I go in the sea, I'm like, oh, I want to do this all the time. Did this not make you want to, like, live here? Yeah. It makes me want to, like, swim in the sea every single day in the I morning. Freshest fruit. Yeah, like, pre-work and then have, like, a really refreshing, fruity breakfast. I don't know. It's just, it's good for the soul, isn't it? And we're going to order some lunch now. What are you in the mood for? Oh, they have corn to top ice with guacamole, so definitely <gasps> that. Yum. Definitely. Maybe some crudite and hummus. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like bits and bobs. 
So this is lunch, we've got some guac, we've got some paquettes, and then we've got some hummus. Yum. Guys, you wouldn't believe it, I think I've done the most Emily thing. So I went and got a coffee earlier from the barista, who by the way, is quickly becoming one of our favorite people in the hotel, isn't he? He's so nice. And they have these cookies, and we did the cookie taste test yesterday, I was like, great, I'll get us another cookie today. So I got the chocolate one again, and then got a nut one. And I got to the room, and I, lost I lost cookie I don't know how I had both bags just like only one cookie so I was like well I took a photo in the lift and it wasn't in the bag in the lift so I was like how have I it was like what 10 steps from the barista to the lift in not far so I was like what have I done with this cookie anyway far too embarrassed to go and investigate and then M on her way up to the room went over to the coffee bit to the barista and was like oh seen my friend's cookie and apparently he just burst out laughing and was like yeah I didn't know what to do and it was just in a little bag with my name on it with a smiley face on. Smiley face. He said How I was cute. waiting for you for one of them to put, I was waiting for one of you to come and get it. How cute! Such a sweetie. Mm. Right and we're ready and we're off the portals. I love M's dress. It's reformation. Oh, Stuns. Thank you. Sorry, it goes dark here. We'll catch up in a sec. Sorry, it got cut off. The corridor goes really dark, doesn't it? <laughs> dark and every corridor. time we're like, oh. So we've come to Port Owls, which is a place that Em and I have both been so many times individually. And we're finally here together. And we're, we're not boyfriend hunting for me, but there's a really actually quite, quite a lot of uh, nice view. Gorgeous view. But I just got cat -caught which was honestly the most hilarious experience in my life. In Em's vlog, I did the impression and now I need you to do the impression. Oh, that looks insane. One for me, they went. Hey mate, she's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. She's the most beautiful bird I've ever seen. Yeah, she's the fittest bird I've, ever, fittest seen. Bird I've ever seen. It was so funny. It was like, I don't know what they expect when they do that, like flattering, lovely, wonderful. But like, do they think you're gonna be like amazing? <laughs> That's it, let's get married. I just think it's humorous. Oh, how's the drink? It looks really good. Oh, I got like a non-alcoholic. Oh, it's very good. Is it? Would I like it? I love it. Is it el can you taste the elderflower or no? May I try? It's an Eastern fizz. It's an Eastern fizz, basically. It's cucumber, soda, lime, and elderflower. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I know. It doesn't taste sugary. Mm -mm. No, that's yummy. We're having a little uh, nosy at all the boats. You know what? Which one? I would happily take any. Yeah, me too. Um, especially with the rain in London right now. I yes, would happily move on to one. just sent some very bad videos of very bad rain. It's not good. So good. This is what I've been waiting for for the whole trip so far. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Right, where are we going? We're going to get bro. Yo. Dinner was amazing. I loved that. M liked it. I love lobster and I love rye. But she doesn't love fishy fish. But it was, it was a seafood surprise. <laughs> I loved it. But anyway, let's go and find some froyo. Fro Guys, we got froyo and I'm dying. He charged us like no money for it. I got half froyo and more shopping. <laughs> we went to this place here. Sorry. It's going to be 5 for three toppings. I got six toppings. And I got one and he charged us eight euros for 50 for both. That was so nice. Good morning, good morning. It's 6.54 a.m. It's almost that time. So we're heading off to the beach to go and watch the sunrise and I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be magical. Yesterday it was very magical, so I'm very excited, but very tired. But this is one of those things you never regret. Well, unless there's a bad sunrise. Okay, so this is where we're heading. Literally, this is the hotel. So we're just gonna walk over find somewhere to perch and watch the sun come up. There's people out running. This is crazy at this time. I think it's literally about to peak over the horizon. How are you feeling this morning? <gasps> Emily was so Oh, here we very, go. Very Can you hear my poorly very. nose? That's why. Well, that was glorious, wasn't it? Yeah, it was so nice. 
Oh, I want to do this every day. Every time I see a sunset or a sunrise, I get a little bit addicted and I'm like, I want to do this again. It's just a girly thing, isn't it? But I do think it's a real, like, humbling experience seeing the sunrise and the sunset. I think it's, like, really grounding. I don't know. It's something I really, really enjoy and wish I could do more at home, but not gonna lie, I don't even know where I would find the sunset or the sunrise near me because everything's just so built up, which is crazy when you think about it that way. Gosh, my voice still sounds very tired, but we're gonna go for a little walk along the beach. Maybe hit the buffet, maybe hit the bar class, see which we're feeling at the time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else, we did it. Didn't we, Em? We worked out. We worked out. We got back from the beach. Bear in mind we got up at like 6.30 on holiday. We were like, mm, and then we were like, Oh, we're like, we'll just go and we'll see how it goes. And we did like an hour and then we're actually going to do, well, we're going to see if we can get into the bar class in the hotel in a bit. We were just not in the mood. And then we were like, okay, well, we'll just do the bar class. And then we were like, well, what are we going to do till then? So actually it's worked out really well. And this is just proof that exercise, even like low intensity exercise makes you feel amazing. For now, we're going to eat because I am ravenous. Are you hungry, Em? I'm hungry. I'm starving. Okay, this is the spread. I got a little bit of everything, mainly eggs, really. And then I got some dates and some Nutella, some fruit. Mm. And then this is what Em got. Em got all the top. And we're gonna share so good the top. We're just having the discussion of how good Em's bum looks. I'm just not, you know what? Mine looks great from the, no, mine looks great from the back, just not the side. Do you know what I mean? I need to just moisturize also though, I feel like you're born with either boobs or a bum. I have neither, or good nails or good hair, and I, I had the good hair. I've never had boobs. I feel like one day when I have a kid and I get pregnant, I'll experience what it's like to have boobs for a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna you like it. I don't care, I prefer my clothes to your, my boobs now. Your bum looks really good. I work out, so I lost my boobs and I'm totally fine with that. I bet they and you grew a bum. See my bum. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna show you. But I, yeah, I mean, I, I could probably work out and get a bum. I'm just not that fast. No, I feel like it's a real maintenance thing. I'm just, I'm actually so fine with the way I look. We've hit that time of day where we're peckish, so the ruffles are coming out. Oh, I love these crisps. Mmm. I just want to live in Mallorca. If anyone has a flat in Mallorca that I can rent for next month, please let me know. I genuinely think this is one of my favorite places in the world. Guys, I have something to admit. We've done the most Em and Emily thing ever. We had a shocker. <laughs> so we went to go to bar this morning. We got there and the class was full and we didn't book it. And we were like, okay, we'll go to the one at 12.30. So we came, we chilled, went down at 12.30. Uh, the second class was at 12. We were just like sat outside sunbathing, enjoying the weather. And then we were like, perfect, we nip down. We literally ran down, filled up our water bottles. And then I was like, oh, they must be doing one to one. And Emily was like, class started hard. <laughs> but it's fine because we can go tomorrow. But yes, hotel guests, you don't need to book. The class yesterday though was half empty and this class was half empty. So I think we just tried to go to the only class that was fully booked. And to be fair, she was so nice. She was like, you can sit and wait and see if anyone comes. Like she was like, I'm so sorry. But yeah, then we missed the next one like absolute idiots. Guys, but why does it look like these are Halloween edition? These things. They look like the Halloween I edition. I grew up being absolutely obsessed with them. That was nice. And they kind of have like a case on them. Yeah, they're really It's really nice. sweet and gorgeous. Are we going to get a few mm. to try? I think we get a bag and then I think we yes. go and get a proper. Oh, I want some chocolatey. Well, I was thinking we might get a proper oh, really nice really place and then get this as well. At the other place they had a Toblerone one that looked really good. So that's what I wanted. This is the reality. We sit and we scoff everything after you take pictures and it's half melted mm. but you know what it's still just as good better mm -hmm. so we're sat on this random part of the beach where nobody else is which is lovely and we're trying to figure out where the boat goes only i kind of want to do a boat tour. yeah there's so many dogs on this part of the beach which is lovely we uh finished up all our ice lollies the they did all explode even the what are they called phantasmicos yeah <laughs> they they exploded in our mouths because they were melted but they were very good um, should we go along to the other part of the beach and have a swim? We had a great swim in the sea and now we're here to get coffee and cookies. And we're gonna get the same cookies yesterday and not lose one this time. And I really think we should get the brownie. It's that point in the trip where we've decided to skip lunch and go straight to the sweet stuff. We got a couple cookies and a brownie and it's a peanut butter brownie. I don't know how well you could see it. Oh my goodness, how good does that look? So we're gonna sit and have a nibble on these, let them go down then I think we're gonna go for a swim in the pool aren't we? Uh -huh. Go for a swim. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers to living in the sun. Oh, this is honestly, yeah. sun makes me so happy. We were trying to figure out, thank you, why we're so like lethargic and tired. And it's, I think it's just the lack of sun in London. I genuinely think that's what it is. 
I think it's the lack of yachts. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Guys, I feel like I'm having one of those magical holiday moments. You know, the ones when you like sit and you're crispy. I'm, I'm, ha I'm having that. On a bag of lace exactly. Bag we of should go and get the ruffles and just eat them just to get that sensation. No, we should have, get a phantom meme on some lace. Mm, I just had the most amazing shower. My hair is like straw though. Either way, I'm feeling amazing. I'm just gonna do my skincare, do my makeup, and then we're going to have dinner tonight. I don't know what time. I really would like the burrata. It's our last night. We had the most magical morning. We're doing it again tomorrow. <laughs> just been a great day, hasn't it? It's always a great day with you. Aww. You too. Feelings mutual. You guys, I just hit a million followers on TikTok, which is so crazy. So this is my outfit, I guess, to celebrate a million followers. It's very Grecian. M said it's very bridal, which is just so ironic, don't you think? I absolutely single. love it. Because I'm single, yeah, it couldn't be further from where I'm at. But yeah, I'm very happy about this. Can't believe I hit a million followers on TikTok. That's crazy. Absolutely not. But I mean, as platforms go, TikTok isn't really like a passion platform for me, whereas, you know, YouTube for me is like my baby. Um, So it was one of those things where I was like, oh, one day maybe, but it's really cool to hit a million followers. Hopefully this channel will be next. Actually, hopefully Instagram next, and then this channel. But I just put my gorgeous little tennis bracelet on from Monica Vinager, I love it. And this is my look. I don't love the shoes. Um, I don't think they elevate me enough, but you know what? I can walk in them. You're elevated so as fine. you are. I just walk my shoulders back. Hopefully everyone will look at my top half and not the bottom half. <laughs> I'm gonna say this now and I haven't said this to Em yet. This is not a hickey. Oh. <laughs> you know I said I had knots all down my neck and I was using my gua sha. Right. It looks like a hickey. Um, I'm just gonna clarify right now because I know someone will pick up on it. No boys on this trip, girls trip. This was not her, it was my gua sha. So I feel like I have to clarify that. It's our dinner spread. <laughs> We had a barata, sorry. <laughs> and some crisps. But now I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's enough food. We might need to order some more. Yeah, we might need to, but how yummy does this look? I actually love octopus. I know that's so niche, but... No, I love octopus. It's a bit chickeny, isn't it? I need to take you to Shondal, Hondal in Ibiza because the octopus there is just the creme de la creme. Okay, what are we trying first? Um, the crisps. Oh, it reminds me of uni. Okay, okay. Cheers. Cheers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. Mm. I'm giving it a ten. Oh my gosh. Wait, I need to cut that in half. It's quite big. Is it in alioli or aioli? You know the sign. I haven't posted a vlog yet. Cheers. Cheers. Ten out of ten. We've eaten the whole menu over the last few days. <laughs> This is by far the best. Guys, I've just walked. Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry. What? I'm going to cry. What? Wait. Wait. Did they give me a million present? No, wait. Is this. No. Is this from the hotel? Or is this from. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no don't film this. No, read it. No, no. No, no. read this. No, no, no. No. Oh my god. No, read it. Down, we have to go down. Is that from? No, <gasps> Emily, congratulations on reach. No, surely not. Wait, no, where's the phone? No, I'm not joking. What the heck? Right, you can't laugh. <gasps> oh my god. Hi, yes, I've had a um, a delivery left in my room with a note, but there's only one name on it, not a second name. Okay, yeah, I can absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, bye. That can't, no. What does one do? Right, guys, we've decided to head out to Magaluf. Em's changed her complete vibe. Do you know why I've changed, guys? Because I feel like I need to go with, like, the party tone. Well, I was gonna wear my fluffy Birkenstocks, and I just thought I would get people shouting at me, being like, what are those? So I'm wearing my Orans, which is equally as probably inappropriate, but they're the only other shoes I have. I didn't bring any trainers. Oh, it's... I've got trainers. I'm going trainers. Oh, put your trainers on. I, what did I even travel in? Berks, yeah. Well, I'm gonna get my other vlog camera and we'll go. I've never been to Magaluf. I've never been to Zanti or anywhere like that. Shock horror. I mean, if I had, you would have seen because I literally have been on YouTube since I was 17 years old. Em's been everywhere, so she's yeah. been she's been to Magaluf. Of course I've been to Magaluf. <laughs> what did you say? I'm so nervous. What? Oh, Magaluf. <laughs> <laughs> we also found 
know we're on different flights tomorrow. Now I'm having an actual I'm crisis. I'm having a what's it called? She went, she went, I'm gonna call Alex and have them change my flight. I went, I booked it. What what are you going for? <laughs> Lovely, really nice and loyal. Right, guys, we've been here for what a minute. We walked down the strip. We're now walking on the beachfront. The first guy that tried to pull us into a bar went, "Wait, you look like a YouTuber," and I just burst out laughing. You went, "Wait, wait, well, no, he was just about six foot three. And Em was like, "Let's turn around, let's turn around." I was like, "No." <laughs> Back round. I'm excited. Can you remember it? No, I can't. Um, I remember one of the places. Guys, not go over there. You look way too good. Oh, oh it's so kind. Okay, I never needed a confidence boost. Like Finally, someone nice can't guys. call me. And throw it. <laughs> She's been waiting the whole trip. Guys, look at this. This is absolutely wild. Oh, it's a silent disco. That's so cool. Oh my god, how fun is silent disco? Yes, that's actually really fun. Never I might have it on my wedding. That's such a fun idea. She says that she's on the ship and Megan. <laughs> yeah. It's very dark, but I'm not going to put my phone flash on because that just feels like a nightmare waiting to happen. But we had a very nice walk on down the strip, and honestly, it's not what I expected. Like, all my friends obviously went when we were younger, and by that time, I was living in London, so it wasn't really something that I, you know, I did. So it'll be bigger. Good morning. We had so much fun last night. We both woke up this morning, looked at each other, and just burst out laughing. I have a sore throat literally from giggling all night but you know those core memory nights that you'll never forget it was one of those um but we are gonna go and get some breakfast we've had a pretty slow morning because it's actually due to rain all day today let me go out there i think it's like 25 out there so it's not like freezing oh it's still nice out here but as you can probably tell it's a little rainy and it's supposed to continue all day so we were like well we're probably going to end up doing quite a few indoor activities we fly well we're actually on separate flights which i didn't know until about i don't know 12 hours ago so yeah we're on separate flights but we fly like similar time in the evening so the plan is breakfast pack and then maybe we go for a sea swim because we can do that in the rain and then it's fine we'll see i also forgot to bring my face oil on this trip I have no idea what my Kiehl's overnight, uh, midnight recovery oil is. Don't know why that product is so cursed for me, why it breaks or gets lost all the time. But my skin needs some major hydration. I actually didn't even bring my Summer Fridays jet lag mask. Don't know why. <laughs> Well, what a few hours we've had. I'm gonna end the vlog off here because um, our flights have been canceled and we are <laughs> stuck in Mallorca, so I'm gonna start a new vlog. But bar was amazing. Um, this whole trip has been so much fun, but it's not over. So if you wanna see what we're getting up to and what the last few hours have consisted of and what's coming next, then subscribe so you can watch the next vlog. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this. This was so much fun and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>